October of 2022, Finance Minister Shunichi Suzuki used the same words just before intervening, warning Japan would take, quote, decisive steps against excessive currency moves. So we're hearing that yet again. Let's bring in Steve uh, Englander, uh, head of global G10 FX research and also North America macro strategy at Stan Chart. He joins us at live across in New York. So, Steve, what's your best guess? We, I mean, we're on intervention watch. How close are we to them actually jumping in? I, I think we're actually very, very close to them jumping in. I, I don't think that they see any point to breaking new highs. Um, they've already discussed the political you know, consequences. And nobody's sitting there asking for a weaker yen. And we just put out a note saying that if you take a look at their export performance, at, at the very least, you would want yen weakness to give you a booming export economy. And there's just not no sign of that. So, um, you know, I, I think that they would, you know, if there were, I think the market wants to push them to show their cards. And I think that they will react aggressively uh, to that. And you know, at some point intervene if it looks as if new highs are being hit. So good point, the market pushing them. I mean, this is, we're talking about the probably the, the, the weakest uh, G10 currencies so far uh, this year. It's down, last I checked, I think, uh, is it about 2% two, two or even uh, uh, more than that. So here's the thing, if they don't step in to defend and intervene, right, that's going to be like throwing blood in the water for sharks. I mean, the market is going to just attack the end even more. Yeah, I think so. And I think they're aware of it. And, and let me say this to give them credit. They, when they intervened in 2022 and before, you know, a lot of people were skeptical about the effectiveness of their intervention, but it worked out pretty well. Um, you know, I, I think the intervention would be aimed at buying them time, either for the Fed to start cutting um, or for the BOJ to to hike a little bit more. Um but, you know, there's no reason to think it wouldn't be effective. And the market, I think, has gotten somewhat long dollar yen again. Um, so there is a bit of vulnerability there. Really, Steve? Because, I mean, back in October 2022, it worked right when they last intervened, but not for long. And, you know, it's pretty much a similar story in, in uh, this time around as well. And, I mean, history shows that you know, when central banks act alone as, a, as opposed to in a coordinated fashion, it doesn't work for very long. And especially uh, so, I mean, you, you, you just can't fight, the, uh, you can't fight the trend. It's, it's like hockey, right? It's, 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 it's just a checking action. Well, I'm not sure about the hockey analogy, but I, I, I think if, if, if they're willing to put some money behind it, um, and I, my assessment is that they got good value for the intervention, that they were, you know, if they wanted to buy back the dollars that they had sold, they had plenty of opportunity to buy them back cheaper. So um, if you're asking me as a, a betting person, would I bet on the BOJ or the market? I would take the BOJ if, that, if, if, you know, if they're determined to hold the line here. 